Hey everybody, it's Patty with Get Personal with Patty, and this is my weekly check-in for the last week of March, as well as how we did overall for March. So I think we did pretty well, and we have some goals set for April, and I'll briefly go over that. And then tomorrow's video will show you my first paycheck in April, and you know what we're gonna do about limiting our eating out and groceries. Typically, April is one of those months where taxes is due, and um, this month in April we're going on a maybe week's vacation to visit my mother-in-law, so we need to have money for that. I have started an envelope already for that, but with gas prices, we do drive there. I'm anticipating, you know, that it's going to cost us quite a bit. It usually costs us about, um, I would say, a hundred to two hundred, so probably you know, doubling that as well, because we go from Massachusetts to um, the Niagara Falls area of New York. Okay, so this is the Erin Condren. As you know, I do my monthly overall in the Erin Condren, and then I do the budget by paycheck workbook for both the joint fixed account, which only, we have a joint account where only fixed bills come out of, and then I do my paychecks that come in weekly, also, I just switched to the budget by paycheck workbook and I will have that, um, like I said, I'll have that video up for you tomorrow. So let's go to March. So this is, we're looking at March 25th to, um, you know, March 30th, March 31st, really. Um, so you can see there was, there were three no spend days. And then I got these cool little stickers. I don't know if you can see them. I'll, yeah, you can see them, actually. They're little gas stickers, so I'm going to kind of use that, um, you know, going forward whenever we put gas. I like these little stickers. I get them from the Twin Mermaids on Etsy. Um, and there, she's got some really cute little stickers. The gas, um, these, like, little takeout containers. So at a glance, I like those little stickers because at a glance, you can look at your month and you can see when you you know when you had to take out when you did gas etc so i'm hoping to um, incorporate these little gas ones actually in april but i did put it here so you can see i did get gas once on the 30th uh another one on the sunday the 27th we had some bills come out we had uh breakfast out on sunday which is pretty norm for us that was actually the only one takeout. I'm impressed. You know, it's it's amazing what you can do if you want to stick to that budget. Um, so that was really the week. So let me see um, if I have our weekly check-in, which I do here. So our weekly check-in for that week four. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. So weekly four check-in. So this is the balance of what we had left from what we decided to spend on. It was fifty four eighty three, and we spent fifty three oh four for the week. So we actually have a dollar seventy nine left. That's you know, right? Sticking with that budget. Gas. We were already in the negative thirty five oh three in going into week four, and then we had thirty sixty ninety dollars. So we're over budget, obviously. We need to budget that up a little higher. Dino, we had $9.81 left. So we did spend $25 on breakfast, so we're at negative $15.19. I mean, I'm not going to go up on Dino in April. I'm actually going to go down a little bit in groceries and Dino because for a full week, we're not going to be here. And we really need to do... I really need to do a video on our pantry and freezer because I mention it every budget that we really have a lot in our freezer and pantry and I need to make a list for myself to know what we're cooking and really work around that meal plan. So household, we had 77.46 left. We spent 58, so we have a balance of 19.40. Child care again. I'm not going to I'm not going to um kind of do that anymore. I'm not going to track child care really because, you know, it's really we don't always have a sitter that we have to pay, so I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, specialty grocery, I know we have to get coffee this weekend, so 
We had $27.35 left. We didn't use any, so $27.35. We're under budget there. And then BJ's, we did buy a grill, so that was really exciting. But we spent $133.47. We usually spend about $150, I'd say, every month or every other month. But then with the grill in there, we spent a little bit more, and that was okay. Um, our total for BJ's was three eighty eight forty six. So, um, I mean, I think we did pretty well. I mean, you know, we obviously ended the month with um, still some money in our budget and not completely. So, um, you know, hey, that's a win. So then here, I do this every month. I, I do an Excel spreadsheet on our computer. I project what our income is going to be, what we want to pay in our debt. So in April, you'll see that it's definitely minimum payments, our fixed bills, and then our envelopes and our sinking funds. We kind of basically go to the same sinking funds every month. You know, we do savings challenges as well. There's only two that we're doing um, on a monthly basis. Um, and then obviously trying to get our landscaping and our tax account up a little bit as that's the, the two things coming up now um, in April, you know, in May or June, I guess, for the landscaping because we really need to get our backyard landscaped. Um, we do have someone that's going to do it. But it's so wet back there that I don't. I really don't know when he's going to be able to do it. I'm, I'm guessing maybe May, even end of May, which really stinks. But hopefully the warm weather is a month coming up. So now I just need to tal um, tally all our income. I projected nine thousand sixteen for the month. I mean, uh, it looks like there's a little bit more there. So give or take, it's probably around that. Not bad. Um, so for our envelopes total for the month of March, so I budgeted three hundred for groceries. We spent two ninety eight twenty one. Dine out was two fifty. We spent two sixty five. Extra child care was one fifty. We only did one sitter at twenty five. We you know and and that's realistic as far as money is how much we spend in child care, how much our out of pocket costs are, but we do get. Uh, personal care attendance for Grace, and that comes out of something a totally different budget, and that's you know, uh, uh, you know we get hours on a weekly basis, and that's where that comes from. Um, specialty grocery we budgeted one fifty, we spent one twenty two. Household we budgeted one fifty, we spent one thirty. House cleaner we budgeted two hundred one seventy five. Amazon Music three ninety nine. Gas so we budgeted two seven two fifty, and we spent three seventy five. So. I know a lot of us on the budget community, our gas is definitely going up, so just need to budget more. Um, personally, I didn't take out $100 in cash, so I, I put zero. I did spend money in April, and I spend it out of my ING Capital One account. The money that I receive from doing my side hustles, that's where I tend to spend the money. And then my husband gets $200 a month, and that's why that's there. Then car maintenance, we did have my Jeep. had to go in the shop, and that was $173. For the Jeep as well as an oil change. So I budgeted $17.53 and we spent $17.68. Not bad. And then I do have to go through these and I'm going to actually do that today. So the emergency fund, I think we only put in $50. Christmas, $100 envelope challenge, I don't think we did $50. Investment, I don't think we did any. Um, the New York savings trip, I'll have to see what we did. Monthly challenge, uh, on my word for it was gold, landscaping, able, and IRA. So that's really my budget for March. I mean, we did pretty well. I just need to fill in a couple of little things here. Um, I already know that's a zero taxes. I already know. I actually you know. I think I did put money in our tax account. So um, that would be good. So now let me just show you April. Got these awesome stickers from Life in Envelopes. Go check out Jennifer Bleacher over there. She's Got some fantastic stickers and I really like it. I like my layout. I have all my fixed bills in these bill due stickers on here. And then I have some goals for the month written here. Let's see. So taxes, because that's what's coming up. Say for insurance, we're going to a different health insurance carrier in May. But that'll come out of the, the business account. But still, so if the... You know, so it's all, you know, you think about it, it's all one money. Yes, my husband is self-employed, so he, he has a separate business account, but some of that money goes into our joint for fixed bills. So if we're going to be paying, you know, $1,200, $1,400 in health insurance out of the business, 
then that's really taken away, you know, 1400 from our fixed bills. It, it, you know, my, my pay will increase slightly because I'm not paying ins health insurance out of that. But as you can see, you, you can't, you know, you can't take 1400 out of one account and not put it somewhere else. It will take it from another part of your budget. And that's kind of what we're working on in April to make sure that we can do that. Cash for New York. And then, unfortunately, um, it is going to be minimum car credit card payments in the month of May, April. Um, until we can know, you know, where we stand on our medical and um, prescriptions, etc., as well as, you know, saving that money that I'm not spending out of my paycheck, but is coming out of the business for our health insurance. I don't know where you guys all live, and you can certainly leave me a note below, but health insurance in Massachusetts is really crazy. I don't know how people can afford it, to be quite honest. Um, you know, I don't think the wages compete with what we're getting paid or what we have to pay out for insurance. So that's my monthly um, kind of budget. And, you know, I'm looking forward to April. I'm actually looking forward to the sun. I hope the sun comes out and sticks around for a while. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. And, you know, look forward to, you know, going over my first week paycheck in April with you tomorrow. Come back and I'll kind of give you an um, update of where we saved our challenges in March. Thanks, everybody. Bye now.